Fernando Marsolo, who is innovating a style and expressing a new format of idealism, looking at the way we should see our pastoral scene, the way we should understand provincial life, as well as the way we should look at our women. The Filipina, um, the Lagang Bukid is forever going to be um, young, pure, happy and beautiful. Okay? Then comes Victoria Evades. He is important in that while his style is very similar when you look at the early Cezanne paintings of the West or the Paul Bogan before the break of Cubism into the world history of art. In the local scene, Victoria Etales, who's an educator, decides that we cannot always go very classical and go traditional. It's just not the way art is. And the new verse of an attempt to try to break the mold, which is the story of what art is, and the story of creativity of its purest form, is to constantly break the mold of what is existing, so that new things can happen. And this is what the Curtis did. He began to break the pictorial scene. He began to show certain structures that are a little less proportional, maybe, if you look at it, I mean, the hand, man's hand very long, but it's not proportional in the classical way. If you look at Fernando Orsolo, everything is still correctly classical, which is the mold of the head, the eight times that of the body. You know, there's a classical Grecian way of looking at proportion. Victoria Davis broke that all. His painterly approach is very much in the strong tradition of trying to find form without purely going cubistic. Okay? So he begins now to again innovate. And his builders rock the art scene, the local art scene in that period of the mid uh, uh, 19, not late 20, 1920s, early 30s. And a break and a schism happened to the local scene where you have now the conservatives and the progressives beginning to take track, move to, to, to different directions and breaking the way people saw the perfection of our solo. So you have to understand, from this beautiful ideal of our solo, you have this break of an artist, teacher, educator. It actually looks truthful because the men, the stevedores, are builders and they're not idealized. They're big, hefty muscles and it's like cubistic almost. Actually, it's still following the very Gauguin and early Cezanne when you look at it, but you begin to get that sense of monumentality in the way he positions form. Okay? The positioning of form is the key thing that is here. Now, 